Happy Mother's Day, everybody. I'm recording this the night before because I have a surprise. I'm going to be building a Mother's Day present for my mom. And I'm going to show all of you how to do it. So, should be pretty straightforward. Comes with instructions. Uh, yeah, so let me go get it. That is a four cubic foot poly dump cart manufactured by Gorilla Carts. This is the same cart that is seen in my, uh, well, the same model of cart that was seen in the video I posted just a couple days ago. Actually, I think that was yesterday. Anyway, yeah, thing is a workhorse, and uh, I think I know somebody who could use one, so I'm going to build it. So let's crack this box open and see what I need, because it's been a while since I built mine. And I don't remember. Now, the box claims simple assembly. And I don't remember this being particularly hard. Ooh. There's stuff in there. Things like tires and more tires. Ah, fresh rubber. Smells delightful. I actually do quite like that smell. Hey, look, a third tire. I bet if we've been good this year, uh, we'll have four tires in here. Lo and behold, it's always helpful. All right, what else we got in here? Well, I assume that was supposed to be around something. But... Here's the something it was supposed to be around. Move that over there. Get over there. Here's the hardware that connects everything together. <laughs> oh, this brand shiny new cart. Wow. It looks so nice. Mine's all beat up. <laughs> well, you'll get yours eventually, I assume. All right, move that over there. Okay, cool. Nothing else in that box. Ah, I knocked the stack of tires over. Okay, so let's see what tools are required. That's going to look like a big screwdriver and either a socket driver or a set of pliers. That's the dumping handle. You can't really see it in the bag here. I'll show that in more detail when we get to that step. One of the supports. There's all sorts of goodies in here. Are you having fun over there, Pearl? <laughs> Ooh. The 
axles. Pearl, do you like the smell of the tires too? <laughs> and other supports. Ooh, it's not attached. I thought that was attached. All right. Other axle and then the support for the bottom of the cart. I'll move that over here. Yeah, I don't see any tools coming with this. So let's just see what this says I need. Hmm. Well, all the parts that should be here are here. It's always a good sign. Uh, this is a model number G O R 4 P as in Peter, S as in Sam. Tools required. Here is uh, today, and then today. Tools uh, required are going to be a screwdriver, needle nose pliers, which is for the cotter pins, um, and then it shows two different like uh, sets of adjustable wrenches. Let me go see what I have. Because I bet I don't have that, but that's fine. Ha ha! All right, so this is what I have. A uh, multi-tool with an adjustable uh, wrench, as well as a bunch of other things, like a knife and a saw and a tiny set of needles pliers and a more different knife and a screwdriver. And whatever this thing is, is this the pliers? Oh, yeah, that's the pliers. Oh, and the pliers have a wire cutter and, yeah. Anyway, um, there's that. That's only going to be used if I actually need to use it. Then I've got my handy dandy uh, little screwdriver with the removable ends. I quite like this one. Needle nose pliers, the cotter pins, and then an actual just uh, wrench. All right, getting down to what we need to do here. I might need to adjust where I'm sitting. Because the first thing I need to do is attach the handle and the support to the bottom of this. That would be step one. A little see through here, but step one, we're attaching the handle right there. And then you can see it there as well. And then I have to attach that as well, which is step two. So we're going to do that. And yeah, I'm going to move the camera. So let's get to it. <clears throat> so to reiterate, step one is to assemble, well, to attach the handle. Now this is the handle for the dump cart, not the handle for the, just say the handle for the dumping feature, not the handle for the cart itself. So this is what it looks like. Okay, and we are going to attach it on this side, like this. And then when you want to dump it, you just kind of pull. The other part of this has uh, two holes that line up with these, that these lock into place on, that keep this from uh, coming apart prematurely. So to do this, it says we need, let's see. Oh, look at that. We need everything in step one. That makes it much easier. Which is four nuts, four washers, four of a different size of washer, and then four of the uh, bolts. And I think the, or not bolts, the nuts that have the nylon in them. Yeah. Now the hardware that comes with the Gorilla Cart stuff is actually pretty good. I do not see a need to change that out. Sometimes when you build stuff like this, you kind of do need to swap things out, but this is not one of those times. So it's a two-part process. We go down first, and then we do from the front. So I'm going to set these two over here. This will be easier if I am on the same level. So actually, 
Just build the whole thing in my lap. All right. So this is what we have. Again, I've turned it. It was facing this way. Now it is facing this way. So we're going to just take this part. It goes like this. Per the instructions, bolts come up through the bottom, or really it's through the top because we're looking at the bottom here. And then the nuts will screw on there. So set that aside for just a sec. Separate this so that we have it separated into nut with big washer, or I'm sorry, bolt with big washer, and then nut and small washer. I'm going to do that with both of them, like so. Then we do that, reach up from the bottom. Now these uh, these bolts are squared off. I'll take one of these washers off so you can see that. They have like a square portion there where the threading stops and that fits perfectly in these holes. Take our small washer. Actually it goes the other way. Like that. And like that. And then this starts screwing on that way. Wait a minute. <laughs> What did I do wrong there, folks? Help if this was attached. Okay, let's try that again. This time without the dumb. Pearl, you're supposed to be helping me with these things. I know the cardboard is fascinating. You just want to rub your face on the cardboard. Okay. I got to say, miss, that's not as much help as you think it is. It's okay. We'll get through this together. Okay. So to tighten this down, screwdriver, it's going to have a Phillips head on it. That is correct, right? Yes. All right. So reach up. Get that locked into place. So all I've done here is on this bolt, I have the Phillips head um, nested there into the uh, head of the bolt. Now I'm going to grab this and the nut, and then I'm just going to, actually, I'm not going to do that. I should have grabbed my socket driver. That's what I should have done, because I can't turn this. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go get that, because actually that would be a lot faster. <laughs> so I can set. Okay. That's what it was. This set comes with standard and metric. And let's just grab a 10, just to start. <laughs> Tends too small. 13, maybe? Ooh, that's promising. I think 13 is the right one. And I don't want anything getting in the way. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a mess. That's what I'm going to do. Get stuff back. All right. Take that. And add this is the socket driver. I'm going to add the extension and then pop the 13 millimeter on. This is set to tighten. Good. All right. So now what I'm going to do is again, I'm going to get the screwdriver in there and that's going to get seated into the head of the bolt. Then I can take this and just tighten it down. Of 
before I tighten that down all the way, I'm going to switch sides. Make sure the other side is good. feel like it's getting easier and then harder again. There it goes. All right, that side's tight. Go back to the first side and just give that its last little quarter turn there. All right, so there's that part. Now we do the same thing, but put them in going this way instead of this way. Same pieces. And they have that same squared design. I don't know if I can really do this in a way you'll be able to see. Maybe like this. Okay, we'll try it. Yeah, it's the same sort of principle. I'm just going to kind of... You should be able to see it right here. Do that with the other one. All right, both of those are good. I'm going to hold those in place with my right hand, get them started with my left hand in the same way. You have the nut goes through, then the big one. Well, you put the Big washer on the nut. You put that through the hole from the inside, facing out. Then you throw the small washer on, and then the nut. So, I keep saying nut when I mean bolt. So, you, you take the bolt, you put the big washer on the bolt, you put that facing out from the inside of the tub, as you can see here, because this is the inside, right here, that's the inside, here's the outside. And then once that's sticking through, small washer, nut. And here I'm just tightening these enough by hand that they don't fall off. Okay, now that that's like that, put that over here. Take this. All right, same principle as before. Hold it in place with the screwdriver and then tighten it down. And I've got the extension on here, even though it makes the whole thing a little more wobbly, just so I'm not running into the handle constantly. I'm going to do the same thing here. We're not going to tighten it completely, just mostly. Then we're going to go to this side. We'll tighten this side down completely. Okay, back to the first side again, and we'll tighten that down. One more. Actually, no, a little more than that. There. Okay, so to recap, this is steps one and two. This is what it looks like. Okay, got your two there. Two there. This is what it looks like on the inside. Two there, and then step two is these two. Step one was this. Step two is this, actually. So, I'm going to grab this. And here are the two holes that that locks into that I mentioned earlier. So, take this. The whole thing goes like this. And about like that. Now, there are holes on the sides here 
that this all locks into. So let's grab those. Step two's hardware is just that. Again, same pattern of bolt with a large washer and nut with a small washer in pairs. Get this all separated and set aside. All right, now, right now, you'll see this just kind of slides around. We're going to lock it in place. So, I'm going to move it just so I can show you which holes we're going to be connecting to here. Should have a hole around here somewhere. There it is, right there. So, that's the hole we're connecting to. And then, same thing on this side, right there. Now, what this is going to allow is when this is attached to the other thing, um, the other side, when you unlock it, you are then able to pull this up and the whole thing will pivot on this axis that this is creating. So, let's create that axis. And again, the bolt goes on the inside of the tub. And the hole does have that same square cut to it, so that makes it nice and convenient. And then you put your, uh, so it goes big washer on the bolt, put the bolt through, little washer on what's sticking out then, and then grab the nut, get it on there, and just, just till it's like hand tight, basically. Like that. It's going to be loose, and that's fine, because we're only doing this so that we can then flip it over. Get that other side. Here you'll get to see me do it from the inside now. So again, bolt, big washer, Small washer, nut. Okay. Now we can tighten this side in. Just like that. This, pull it over, switch sides, do that same thing. All right, in case you still don't quite understand what this does, basically what that does is it makes it so that we can pull on this, and now this moves. Like so. Okay, now on to that rear axle. All right, rear axle is step three, and then the supports for it are step four. And then we do front axle is step five, tires are step six, handle is step seven, and testing it is step eight. Okay, that all makes sense. So, on to step three which is attaching the rear axle. Again, this is the rear axle. It does not, notice it does not have the part that sticks out from here that would attach the main handle for the cart. All right, and the rear axle goes on all the way to the back. So there are two holes here, located all the way to the back, right there. And these are gonna go so like this, and then you thread the bolts in and through, tighten them down. So that's what we're going to do. Bolts for step three. Same deal as before. The only difference is these are longer. There is no front or back orientation, so that makes it nice and easy.
right? So that is step three. And just to show you what that looks like from the inside. Right there. All right, next up is to add these supports for the rear axle. One support, not a support. Pearl, where's the support? For? Where's the other one? I got one of them. Oh, there it is. I'm sitting on it. Thank you for letting me know. That's how that goes. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. So yeah, you just slide it. It's going to make kind of a kind of an L shape. That's not really an L, but I think you kind of get what I mean, right? It goes sort of straight and then hooks a bit. The hook bit goes to the inside. You just take that hole, you slide it over this post. There's nothing that locks it in place until you put the wheel on on that side. But this part gets bolted down. And I'm going to do these separately because it's just easier that way. So, hard work for step four. Well, bam. Grill carts makes it easy. It's all basically the same theme over and over. Bolt, big washer, little washer, nut. So let me separate those. May be helpful to move that out of the way so you can kind of see what you're dealing with. I think you get the gist. All right, there's that. Now, when you're doing this, it's important, and the instructions don't explicitly call this out, but if you do what the instructions say, it will always be the case. The nuts always go on the outside of the tub, never on the inside. Which, um, if they were on the inside, you would constantly hit them with a shovel. Should not be good for the overall health of the cart. Or your shovel. Losing grip of the screwdriver, don't drop it. Okay. After you tighten the second one down, go back to that first one and just tighten it again completely. Like so. And we're going to flip this around and do the same thing for the other support. All right. So that is what step four looks like. Give you a couple different views here. Yeah, these are not so these are not attached. They slide freely. That's because when we put the wheels up, they're just kind of there to help support weight. This way, not this way. So anyway. It's that and then it's those four right there. Everything is tightened down and looking good. All right. On to step five. Step five is a little different. Now we're attaching the big boy, the big axle, the one with the handle. And the hardware for this one is a little bit different. Noticeably, it's flipping huge. Big plastic washer, a metal washer, and a great big bolt. I mean nut. See, I did it again. Great big nut. So you have a metal washer, a plastic washer, and a great big nut. So, plastic washer. Like so. Axle. In this orientation. So 
don't try to do it this way. It won't work. It won't fit anyway. And um, if you do it like this or whatever, you know, you're not actually going to cause a problem because it spins freely. It's kind of fun. Then do what I did. Drop the metal washer. Pick it back up. Set it down. <laughs> and then attach the nut. Now that one, we're going to need an actual socket. Not a socket, a uh, set of pliers for. If you've got channel locks, now is the time. Otherwise, this kind of, you know, this isn't difficult, it's just time consuming. Now you might be wondering where did the bolt come from that I'm attaching this to. That is part of this support here that acts as the pivoting hinge for when you pick this uh, up and you reject it. Had a big threaded bolt attached to it already. And that's what we're screwing down to here. Also, it's important that that plastic washer be in between uh, that piece we installed in step two and then this piece to allow this piece to swing freely once everything is tightened down. In theory, uh, it should still spin somewhat freely if it was tightened down uh, with the washers in the other order, but it won't be quite as nice. Now that's a little on the tight side. We can undo that just a hint. And then through use, it'll, whoops. <laughs> through use, it'll loosen up a bit. Like this, see? Now it doesn't spin nearly as freely, but still freely enough. All right, there's that. We just did this one. Now we're doing the wheels. And the wheels attach with cotter pins and washers. Hardware for step six, which is just four great big washers and four of the pins. And when you install the tires, you want to install them so that the stems, the valve stems, are sticking out, and the extended part of the uh, inside of the tire goes towards the unit itself. So, actually, I'll take that one off so I can show you the tire installation process uh, completely on one. Then I'll just attach the rest. So, hoping you can see this here, I have this tire just kind of pushed in place. Ugh. Then a washer goes on, like that. And I gotta find the hole for the pin. There's the hole for the pin. All right, so there's that. Now, what you do is you bend these so that they can't come out. And that's really all you have to do. Should you ever have to change these out, you just squish this down. Can't do it with my hand. You use pliers. You just squish that down, take that out, pop the whole thing off. Anyway, that one's done. These tires are pretty heavy duty. I'll get the rest of these attached now. Uh, point of note on the back side where we have these supports, you might have to kind of squish things together a little bit to get the tires to go on all the way. Much easier to bend these with the needle nose pliers that are recommended. And there we go. It is noticeably heavier when the tires are installed. This is the point of it. Step seven flip it over, which I've already done, and attach the handle. Try to get this to angle in such a way that you'd actually be able to see what I'm doing here. This is probably going to be a little finicky. All right, now, the handle has a bend in it, okay? You are going to install it so that the bend allows the handle to extend past this point like this, okay? You want it to face, like it makes a little corner, you want that little corner to face away from the cart. If you do this the other way, 
Um, this thing will never want to sit correctly, uh, handle-wise. You're always going to be fighting it, so make sure you install it that way. This puts the center of gravity for the handle behind this edge. That way the whole thing will stay upright when you lean it like this. Okay, and hardware, first step seven. Again, Gorilla Carts, they really go out of their way to make this process simple. Shouldn't make a difference what way this is installed on, but they show the pin coming at it from this side. So the bolt goes at it like this. Bolt goes through uh, both the bracket and the handle, and then you have the washer and the nut. So there's those. These are a little spread apart. It's not great. Hopefully it won't be enough to make it a problem. Nope, not a problem. Okay, good. Then you put the washer on. Then you put the nut on. We're going to get that hand tight. Okay. Then you just tighten it down. Which I can't do while I'm holding it. i got to break this out now, which is fine. All right, that should work. And then we'll just take the other side. You're going to hold it in place with your uh, non-dominant hand. And with your dominant hand, you're going to tighten it. As you can see, that works. And then this, you pull and then you lift up. And the whole thing kind of kind of clumps together like that. A little cramped right here to show you, but again, this goes down, locks in place. And to uh, dump, you just grab it, pull, lift up, and it dumps. Pretty simple. Now, there's a secret step eight. Well, I mean, they have their own step eight, but there's a more important. I guess it's a secret step nine. Here's our secret step nine. Move back here would be good. Yeah, I think back there will do splendidly. I hope this has been helpful. Happy Mother's Day, sincerely to all, and uh, thanks for watching. Until we talk again. Pearl, what are you doing? Okay. Is it time, Pearl? Is it time to start? Early. Pearl. Pearl. What are you doing over there, Pearl? Silly girl. <laughs> time lucky. <laughs> More work, less effort, it says. I don't know about that. No, I do know about that. Yeah. Let's try that again, huh, bro? Here you go, Pearly. Who you want out, miss? Or in, I guess, would be the more appropriate, you know? Okay, you don't care? Cool. How you doing, love? What do you need for? Oh, some stuff. Stuff.
done uploading. Alan wrenches. No. Basically, this is the same set of tools that we needed for the um, raised beds. Oh, okay. So, pretty straightforward. Pearl's having a ball out there. Rolling around next to the very new smelly tires. Maybe I can get slightly better lighting in here. Let's see. Because it is a little dark. It's actually darker than it looks like on the camera, too. <laughs> Doesn't say I need a socket driver. But I do. And now my sock's upside down. I hate it when my sock's upside down. Yeah. It feels weird. <laughs> Smells like tires. Like the scent of a fresh hockey puck. Which, unless you know what that smell is like, um, kind of specific anyways I hope that's helpful and informative happy Mother's Day again to everybody and uh, until we talk again thanks for watching now I have to do that again yay thank you so much system mm. Happy Mother's Day, sincerely, to everybody who uh, celebrates, and are you all right? Bro, was that you? I don't think that was you. What was that? Ow, I rolled right over my foot.